as humans, we're exposed to combinations of so many different types of chemicals that it's often not possible for scientists to tell if and how specific ones can affect our health. But in the case of endocrine disrupting chemicals, or EDCs, the World Health Organization says it's wise to take precautions. More than 800 chemicals are known or suspected EDCs that may mimic, block or interfere with the body's hormones. They can interfere with our normal regulation of our body, and so that's what could be quite dangerous about them. EDCs are linked to a variety of illnesses from cancers to cardiovascular disease and a long list of other health issues like infertility and learning disabilities. Research shows EDCs present in 95% of people tested. So what can you do to reduce your exposure? One good place to start is in the kitchen. Mark Green is an associate professor in reproductive biology he recommends foods stored in plastic, like takeaway containers, should be transferred to a china or glass plate or bowl before reheating. If you've ever made something like lasagna, you put it in there and you can get that orange, I guess, surface around here. It's because it's actually the chemicals have actually come into the food. Stainless steel or glass water bottles help to reduce exposure from the chemicals used to make disposable plastic bottles flexible. So really it's the squeezy plastic water bottle we've got here, made from things like bisphenol A or BPA, which is the most classic one. So try not to use this. Dietary changes can also help. Experts advise reducing intake of tinned foods, as plastic is widely used to line cans, and eating less oily fish, which can absorb chemicals from the environment washing off fruit and vegetables and making sure that we're getting rid of any pesticides, herbicides and sprays that might have been put on there and before of course consuming them. A national approach to managing chemical use and disposal has recently been set up to deliver more consistent regulation and make it easier for industry to choose less harmful chemical additives in plastics. Selena Ross, ABC News.